The Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is the latest 11-inch entry-level tablet from Samsung, which is the successor to the popular Galaxy Tab A8. This year, we get a slightly larger 90Hz display and significantly more powerful hardware. Starting at just $220, it's quite cheap, but lacks features such as the S Pen. Well, is it a tablet worth getting? That's what you'll learn in this review. And we start with the design and build quality. I think in many respects, the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is a pretty good tablet, but the build quality is quite disappointing. Just like its predecessor, it's largely made of aluminum and has a plastic cover at the top, and that's fine. However, the transition from the display to the body doesn't feel well made. It feels a little rough, as if the display and housing don't fit together perfectly. This makes it feel very cheap. Xiaomi and Apple are much better at this with their cheaper devices. At 6.9mm it's quite thin and weighs 480 gram. I think it's great that we still get a headphone jack. It also has a micro SD card slot, but it's a shame that you can't format the micro SD as internal memory, so it's not easy to install large games on that card. It has a USB-C 2.0 port, which is great, but you cannot connect external monitors. There's a connector on one of the longer sides that looks like it's made for a keyboard cover. Samsung has not yet presented such a cover, so maybe we will see one in the future. Unfortunately, there's no fingerprint scanner, but you can unlock it using facial recognition. Only one camera is used for this, so it's not the most secure method, but it works well. The front camera has a resolution of 5 megapixels, which is definitely sufficient for video chats. There's an 8 megapixel main camera on the back, which is slightly better, but much worse even compared to mid-range smartphones. The Galaxy Tab A9 Plus has an 11-inch display with a resolution of 1920 by 1200 pixels, which is roughly Full HD. I think this resolution is just high enough for 11 inches. Text and icons look sharp enough. It's an LCD with decent viewing angles and it's also reasonably bright. Yes, blacks look a bit more like a dark grey compared to an AMOLED, but we can't expect better displays in this price range. I compared it directly with the Galaxy Tab A8, S6 Lite and Lenovo Tab P11 Gen 2 and the three are actually very similar. There are small differences, but really only small ones. The A9 Plus is slightly brighter than the others, but the colors of the S6 Lite are slightly better and the Lenovo has slightly more stable viewing angles. This is the first entry-level tablet from Samsung to support 90Hz, just like the S9 FE. Most tablets in this price range have 60Hz, but some like the Xiaomi Redmi Pad SE also have 90Hz and the Lenovo Tab P11 Gen 2 even supports 120Hz. By the way, the A9 Plus does not support the S Pen or any other active pens. If you want a tablet for handwritten notes or drawings, I cannot recommend it. Better alternatives are the S6 Lite, S9 FE or iPad 9 and 10. The four speakers sound almost the same as on the predecessor. It's definitely good for the price, a solid entertainment tablet. However, it's also clear that the sound quality is worse than that of premium devices. The Galaxy Tab A9 Plus is powered by a Qualcomm Snapdragon 695 processor with 4 or 8GB of RAM and 64 or 128GB of internal storage. I think it's great that 4GB and 64GB are now standard because 32GB as with the predecessor is very little these days. Samsung also offers a tablet as a version with 5G. The A9 Plus is slightly more expensive than its predecessor, but we get better performance in return. In the Geekbench 5 benchmark comparison, it's slightly more powerful than the A8 it's even slightly better than the Galaxy Tab S6 Lite 2022, which was released two years ago as a mid-range tablet. The Xiaomi Redmi Pad SE is also weaker, but the Lenovo Tab P11 Gen 2 on the other hand is roughly on par. In the 3D Mark Wildlife test, which tests graphics performance, the results are similar. The A9 Plus is slightly better than its predecessor, but at the same time weaker than the Galaxy Tab S9 FE, which is the latest mid-range device from Samsung. However, it's also important to emphasize that the now quite old iPad 9 is significantly more powerful. Most common apps run smoothly, including Chrome, YouTube and Microsoft Office. Multitasking is also possible and actually finds the performance sufficient for almost all tasks. Not necessarily for editing videos, but definitely for surfing the web with multiple tabs and as an entertainment tablet. Once again, this is an entry-level tablet and cannot be compared with the current iPad or the Galaxy Tab S9 series. Absolutely not, but I think the performance is good for the price and many don't need more. 
However, it's also clear that there are noticeable differences compared to premium devices. For example, I edited photos in Adobe Lightroom on the A9 Plus and while that actually worked pretty well, importing took much longer than I'm used to with iPads. In Samsung DeX, the tablet also slows down much faster with many apps and my gaming test also shows major differences. My gaming test confirms that the A9 Plus is indeed better than the previous entry-level tablet like the A8 but also better than the Amazon Fire HD 10 2023. Not only was I able to play games like PUBG Mobile smoothly with HD graphics, which many tablets can do, but even Genshin Impact runs surprisingly well with high graphics settings. Sure, it doesn't look quite as good as on a premium device, but it runs well. Fortnite doesn't run properly, which is a shame, but at least you can install it. I first tried it with low graphic settings and this video resolution of 75%, but then it stutters so much that it's unplayable. It's just about playable if you set this reduce resolution further down to 50%, then it usually is running at over 20 FPS, which is not good, but just about acceptable. If you lower this video resolution even further, it runs better, but then the game looks too bad and then it's no fun because of the pixelated graphics. So I can't recommend the A9 Plus as a Fortnite tablet, absolutely not, but it's running and shows that the performance has also improved in real world use compared to the A8 and is roughly on par with the S6 Lite. The Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus runs Android 13 with One UI version 5.1.1 out of the box and therefore has exactly the same software installed that runs on the manufacturer's other current devices. Samsung is generally the forerunner in this respect as it generally keeps its tablets up to date for much longer than the competition. An example, the A8 is already running Android 13 but the newer Lenovo Type 11 Gen 2 still has to live with Android 12. Although it doesn't support an S Pen, the same Samsung Note app has been installed just as one of the more expensive devices. I think it's great that the Samsung DeX desktop mode is supported this time. This was previously available on the S tablets only. Now you can also use the A9 Plus comfortably with the mouse and keyboard with this desktop mode, but without an external monitor. So the software is great, especially because of long updates, which is an important unique selling point compared to the Android competition. In my battery test, the Galaxy Tab A9 Plus achieved a fairly modest runtime of 6.5 hours. I always run an HD YouTube video at maximum brightness in an endless loop for this, in this case at 90Hz. If you lower the display to 60Hz, it should last a bit longer. So is it worth spending around $220 on the Samsung Galaxy Tab A9 Plus? Yes, I think so. It's a bit more expensive than its predecessor, but it has better processor performance, more RAM and more internal storage, as well as a slightly larger display that supports 90Hz. So Samsung really does offer a good deal more. In addition to that, Samsung is much better than Xiaomi and Lenovo when it comes to updates. If you want a cheap Android tablet for surfing the internet, Netflix and simple games, the A9 Plus is well suited for this. And unless you're looking for better performance for demanding games or even graphics work and don't need an S Pen, for many it's not worth spending more money on a better tablet. One major disadvantage is the poor build quality. For the same price, Xiaomi and Lenovo can do much better. I think the A9 Plus feels really cheap. However, it is also clear that this has no influence on the performance and is therefore not so important. If you are prepared to spend roughly twice as much on a tablet, you can take a look at the Galaxy Tab S9 FE, which I also reviewed of course. It has a really high quality build, is protected against water and dust and includes the S Pen. It also has a better display, a better processor and a fingerprint reader. If you can spend more money, you will definitely get a much, much better tablet.